Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm doing paid review 23 QB 58. Quick wristwatch check. And I'm wearing my bluesy Submarina. It's the 40 mil. And it is just absolutely gorgeous ceramic piece. Let's run the intro and let's do a review, a paid watch review for Victor. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury and welcome to the Archie, the Paul Pluto channel where I do paid reviews. Today guys, we're doing a paid review for Victor. Let me start and let's have a look at this paid review. Hey Arch, it's been six years since my last paid review when I only had three pieces and figured it's time for a new one. I've grown my collection to 10 pieces now from the original video and wanted to get your thoughts on the current 10-piece combo meal deal. Two photos and watch collection listed below. I th think I'm finally happy with my collection and have a piece for every need use occasion. I don't own any heavy hitters like Patek VC or AP, but don't mind trading in one of my two Speedmasters for a nice Calatrava or Patrimony or <clears throat> Jager LaCoultre Perpetual Calendar 39mm. Rose Gold photo attached in the future to keep the collection capped at 10 pieces. After a certain number of pieces, the additional dopamine hit just isn't there, Arch. My favorite three pieces... Of the 10 currently are the Breitling Chronomat, the Pepsi on Jubilee, and the Presidential 36 with the gold champagne diamond dial. Let me know your thoughts, Arch. Wishing your collection a speedy recovery after recent events. Regards, Victor. Thank you so much, Victor. Let's have a look at your collection. Let's have a sticky beak here. So... What do we have? Well, let's start. Firstly, we've got an Omega, Omega Speedmaster Racing. Uh, reference 326. Who the fuck cares about the reference? It doesn't really matter. Uh, what do I think? I think this piece here is kind of borderline. I don't know if you really need this watch if you've got the moon watch unfortunately it's not really that wanted it's a bit of a bit of a shit omega in the sense that they don't get big bucks it's more more of a stocking filler watch than a great piece of horology it's not a bad watch it's an omega but it's not a fantastic watch i just want to be truthful with you victor Okay, next piece we've got is a Rolex Submarina. I'm wearing a bluesy myself. Look at this, guys. Okay, what's he got here? So this here is a 116613LB, same model as mine. That's the 40 mil. The photo is not the greatest, but it's 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 okay. Uh, actually, I'll see if I've got a better... He sent me another set of, oh, here we go. This one might be a bit better. Yes, that's not the greatest photo either. Oh, this one's a little bit better. Okay, yeah, we can see it's got the gold writing. Just to confirm, it is the 40. Yes, sir. That is a great watch. I got one myself. 100% love that watch. Next watch we have is a Rolex Datejust, 116233. There we go. Look at that there. Beautiful modern date just. Um, what can you say, guys? Uh, this here is a modern classic. And I've got to tell you something. There is something about 
the um there's something about the more modern rolexes i like the improvements to the bracelet um now this interesting watch here this is actually 36 mil 36 mil 36 mil so okay but it's the improved version okay so i like it i like it then we've got a rolex daytona daytona what do we got here we got a this is a 116503 that's the newer i had the 116523 the 503 you'd think going lower numbers would be a, a an older model but no it's actually reversed on this model so that's that's actually two-tone daytona black dial beautiful then we have we've got a long jeans we've got a long jeans here flagship heritage l4 uh dot seven four six so who the fuck cares about it's that's some that's another piece that i'd probably piss off okay i would piss that off i definitely replace it with a jager lucultra okay what else have we got here now we've got we've got an omega speedmaster 300 thank you that's a nice modern c sorry omega seamaster 300 then we've got an omega speedmaster professional yes sir these are these are quality good omegas then we have we have we have we have the rolex the we've got the pepsi the pepsi one two six seven one oh b l r o yes sir beautiful and then we've got a 36 mil president 118238. Yes, love it. That's the 36 mil day date with diamond diamond dial. And then we've got a Breitling. I actually don't hate this Breitling. Actually, this is a better photo here for the Breitling. Uh, this is a Breitling Chronomat 41. Yes, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I do. I do like that watch. So what would I piss off? Out of all these watches here, what I do not like is the Omega Speedmaster Racing. I mean, that's okay if you're starting out collecting and money's very tight and you're trying to uh, find your way. But it's not something, a collection of this color, but you don't need it. It's superfluous. Get rid of that fucking thing. The Longines heritage, flagship heritage. That's another thing I would fuck off real quick. Now, unfortunately, both of those watches there are not really wanted, which means secondhand dealers are not going to really want them. They don't want to trade them. They don't want the fucking things. That's the problem with the softer watches. Now, he's put a photo here. This is a perpetual calendar. Let me tell you something, mate. Do not fucking buy JLC brand new. JLC, they are fucking insane. They've recently put their prices up. They kept putting them up and up and up. Who the fuck does JLC think they are? If you're going to buy one of these, you want to buy it pre-owned. Okay, because I'll be honest with you, secondhand, they're half of new value. I'm sorry. I didn't want to say this, but it's fucking true. I love JLC Reversos. I got a Reverso Grand Date. Secondhand, they're fucking tanked. Fucking tanked. The And especially something like a perpetual calendar. It's like owning a Mercedes-Benz 600 or a BMW with the V12 engine in it. Yep, it's great bang per buck secondhand, but something goes wrong. Fuck, you will know about it very expensive to fix so um just just be aware of that be aware of that okay so that's the only provisos i would really say for you there so um yeah yeah just be aware of that and that's 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 the only provisos there. So, you know what? I tell you what, that's that's some good, some good um 
JLC's lovely. It's a beautiful watch. Look at that. How could you not love it? But fuck, you want to buy it. You don't want to buy that shit new. You want to buy that pre-owned, pre-owned. So looking at this beautiful, I actually quite like the box. This is the the wolf box. I love the green wolf box. So what would I piss off here? Piss off. So what I'd piss off is piss off this, this racing Omega. Piss off the long jeans. Everything else I really fucking like. I love the Seamaster and the Speedmaster Professional. I even love the fucking Breitling. And what else I love is the bottom row or Rolex. I reckon it, that bottom row, keep it five Rolex and five other. Um, so if I pissed off, if you pissed off the Omega Speedmaster Racing, I'd possibly put another Breitling in there. Like a Super Ocean Heritage 42. That'd be a lovely watch to put in there. Uh, but definitely the two watches to piss off are the, the Omega Racing and the fucking Long Jeans. I mean, fuck me dead, Long Jeans. You know, it's it's a pseudo luxury brand. It's like Chrysler. Chrysler used to be the Mercedes Benz of America, but fuck those days, those glory days are fucking long gone. So my advice to you is piss those two off. Add a Breitling. I'd Super Ocean Heritage would be a great model. And I would as a if you got rid of the long jeans, I'd get the um you do mention there you'd love to add a patrimony or a pat see patrimony you'd have to buy that second hand they've fucking tanked calatrava is expensive unfortunately you're not going to get much money for that fucking omega okay you're not nobody really you your best to fucking list it yourself and sell it the long jeans oh that's a fucking hard sell nobody fucking wants it nobody fucking wants them they're just toxic shit that's what they are, those long jeans. And I'm sorry to say it. I'm just telling you the truth. Because you paid big bucks for a review. You want to know the truth. You don't want me to fucking lie to you. You want me to be honest with you. Beautiful Rolex lineup down the bottom. Bluesy, Pepsi, um, the Daytona, a Datejust, and a Day Day. What a fucking beautiful, beautiful set. Yeah, I'd just fix up those two little things and you've got a perfect 10-piece feed. That's what I would say. So um, uh, I've got to say very, very – I even like the Breitling. Believe it or not, I actually really do love the Breitling in this collection here. So that's the advice. Lovely collection. Thank you so much for getting me to re review it. Remember, guys, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. Paid watch reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. Without these paid reviews, I cannot survive. And guys, my sponsor, David SW, if you want to buy or sell a watch in America, I would recommend David SW. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America... If you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride go to david sw i would highly recommend david sw david sw if you're in america and you're looking for a watch go to david sw david sw david sw that's right guys david sw thank you